Jared, if we take us through the play uh, that led to the ejection. Uh, the play was um, D-Lo driving to the basket, nice little drop off to Jay, which he was doing throughout the whole game, went up for a shot, for a layup. I thought it was a, a hard foul on Embiid. I uh, thought he hit a little bit of the arm, the ball, thought the follow through kind of hit him on the head and or hit him on his like neck area and fell down. And it's just something that's just been escalating for a while. Game, I think it was game two, the elbow falling down when it should have been a flagrant two. They didn't call it flagrant, flagrant two. Then they're in the uh, press conference laughing, and then I see it like that. And so I, how I thought it was just a, a, a good push, let them know it was, we're not having it today. Uh, I got pushed, which is, which is fine. And then we get up, we go, our both separate race. It should have been a, a double tech, double, or if you want to do flagrant on both, and both teams said for them to eject not only Jimmy but myself is just it's ridiculous. This is a no punches were thrown. Um, no one acted, no one said anything crazy out there. It was a good playoff. Uh, Foul on his part, foul, push on my part, and then go go a separate race. You provided a lift while out there. What were you trying to give the team in terms of intensity during the time that you were out there? Well, you got you to understand, this is the team that, you know, they're uh, the three C for a reason. And for us, is you know, we have to play harder. We have to be more aggressive. Um, we're under man. Obviously, Ed didn't play today. That, that happens in playoff basketball. I didn't play game two. Joel didn't play. And so it was the intensity that... Brooklyn has to play to be competitive in this series. And so for us, it's, if it gets a little scrappy, if you get under people's skin, that's just a part of basketball. But I thought it was just good playoff basketball tonight. Are you trying to send the message at all? And if uh, so, yeah, for sure. Send the message. Send the message is like, you know, when you have a guy getting flagrant fouls, I mean, Joel Embiid's second in the league in flagrant fouls. And so for that elbow he had before, just to have a flagrant one, no fine, no nothing, laughing in the media. And if you think that a team that I play on is going to have that, that's, that's another thing coming, especially on this young team. This team hasn't been here before. They don't know. And, you know, they can change the rules all they want and make it, you know, throw guys out. That's fine. I, I will take that push every, every time. Looking at the way the, the score resulted by the end of the game, do you feel like that changed the it swung the momentum a little bit uh, possibly I mean but just I, I was playing well I thought that uh, uh, me taking Ben Simmons out of the game making other people have to play I thought that they hit key shots I mean this was gonna go down on the wire either way I would like to have been in the game I think that Jimmy would like to have been in the game but I think I think both teams would like to have their guys in. I think neither player deserved to be ejected I think when you watch the film I, I guarantee you and I probably talked to Kiki he probably will agree and so uh, it's just unfortunate you think uh, MB should have been injected? I would say injected, a flagrant. It could have been a flagrant. And so, hey, I mean, hey, it's playoff basketball. I have no problem with a flagrant one. I had a problem with the elbow to the face and laughing in the, uh, at the press conference. And so if they don't want to give him a flagrant, I'll take a flagrant. But an ejection, there's no punches thrown. No one fell on the ground. If anyone, I, if anything, I got pushed to the ground. And so if you would have said Jimmy the, for the push to the ground, and, and even I don't think he should have been ejected for that. What are the adjustments that have to be made to bring this series back to Brooklyn? Uh, an adjustment, obviously, you got to slow down. I mean, Joel and B had a good game tonight. Um, I think that good thing for us, uh, game one, the one thing that you saw that took away is we got J.J. in foul trouble, was attacking that. I thought we did a good job of that. I think that you got to credit credit them uh, just keep going at it that's a good team and so for us it's uh, it's playing with intensity getting our, our rebounds i thought rebound for the first half was good um they're gonna hit shots i got three or four five talented players and so it's the intensity where a regular season compared to the playoffs and our team is learning that on the fly and so for me it was setting the tone obviously starting garden ben trying to limit him trying to help out uh, off him to help on my other teammates and then offensively provide a spark no, 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 no. Knowing the end result of the ejection, would you have done anything different if you knew that that's what I happened? would not have. I would not have just because, for one, it's me being better on this team of showing these young guys a certain way you have to. Um, if anything, I probably would have got my money's worth a little bit more on that push. That push wasn't even that bad. I mean, he didn't fall down. Uh, if anything, I fell down. Um, but it's a certain thing and for the league to have to look at that. Like I said, Jordan beat second in the league in flagrant fouls. He just got a flagrant one almost hitting the guy. I mean, if it would have been anyone, if he would have sold it a little bit more falling down, that was a, a, a crucial elbow. Laughing about it, no fine. Uh, if anything, I should have gotten worse. It looked like you and Simmons both kind of went into the first row there. Can you describe what happened? I got pushed um, uh, from, I don't even know who, I think it was Jimmy, and then when I pushed it, uh, Simmons was there, so we both kind of went down together.
Did you see it as having having your teammates back? That oh, was the sure. reason. Man, I, I, I mean, if it had been a regular season, I would have done it, especially with the history. Now, if it would have been, if he, if if the elbow didn't transpire, uh, game two with the laughing press conference, would I've done, probably done that? Probably not. And so I think the history had to play in with that. And this is, I mean, at the end of the day, is I have no problem with what Joel did and Jimmy does. But it's, on this team, for me, you you stand up when it's time to stand up, and that was that case. And I think there was just good playoff basketball, two techs, and keep the game going. Thanks, guys.